Hey folks, my name is Ryan. Welcome back to the new Pokemon card opening. So this time we finally got something again. We got ourselves a Brilliant Star Stars. Oh god. We got ourselves a Pokemon Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars booster box. It's fun how they still call it Sword and Shield because this uh, set is more based on the um, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Henceforth the uh, name Brilliant Stars. But I can get it since those are remakes and not the uh, actual generation of game they're in. However, I do not mind since I was not the biggest fan of the remakes anyway. But let's open up this bad boy and see what we can actually get. So I might be a bit all over the place with this. And just try to see what we can get out. It has been a while since I've last opened up a entire booster box of cards. I believe the last time was Evolving Skies on the channel. Hey, still, this looks good. Let's just put this over here and start off with one well, again. You know what? I'm gonna put this over here. Still shows that uh, I get everything out of uh, this box, and I can put everything on display just in front of me. Start off with the code card because I do not do anything with the code cards anyway. Because um, I've used the online game to. Uh, learn the card game but it wasn't really my thing to do online because I love the one-on-one -on -one action also Grasshopper, Gym Inferno Gloria Dami Cupchu Jinx Farfetch'd Execute Grimer as third week as our first reverse and our first pull is gonna be a Golurk well no V no anything but hey we've got a whole box to go through and I'm down to see what's going to be in here. We might do some, uh, a couple of other things while opening this up, like uh, some car changes, some pre-sleeving. Let's see if we can actually get something out there. I'm also going to throw out the uh, wrapping, pack wrappers, for a bit. Oh look, we got one of those V-Star cards again. All right, V-Star. That's Batic, the Angular Batic. Collapse I still love this art. This is one of those places you really want to visit in real life. Looks yo, but knowing uh, those places in real life, they'll probably be swamped with tourists. Dark, Cherubi, Riolu, Dali. There's Infernip as reverse. That's a cool looking reverse. Into. Oh, damn! <laughs> We're really hitting it off right now. Huh. Cynthia, full art. That's a cool one to get. Alright. Then I'm already gonna get myself my sleeve. There we go. Look at this. I know a lot of people want to get this one, especially the thirsty ones. <laughs> but that's a cool pool. All right, I'm gonna get myself some sleeves out of my pack first so they are easier to grab. Yeah, that's better. And then afterwards, let's go on to the next pack. I mean, what does that Cynthia do again? Draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's turn, draw until you have eight cards in your hand. Ah, so uh, what card was it last time? Because the, I've, I think they've brought out this kind of card with that effect before, but I don't know which card it was. Fire Energy. Grottle. I love that evolutionary line. Primplup. Moferno. Wow, wait. Wait a minute. We got the four mid-stage evolutions of... Generation 4, one after another. Wow. That's Gibble. Dirtwick. Trapinch. Piplup. All we need now is a fur Chimchar. That's Vibrava into a Drudigan. I've actually not seen Drudigan in the set yet. Huh. Now well, we've opened two Elite Trading Box and I've gone to a pre release event. That's interesting. Ooh, the Arceus back. Let's see what we're gonna get in here. Alright. Here is the code card. One, two, three, four to the front. I've actually been enjoying these card openings a bit more lately because I've talked to some uh, people, to Double Turbo Energy, Robes. I've actually been talking to a couple of people uh, outside of this. We're also doing YouTube and I've um, been a bit more inspired and I'm always impressed on how they manage to do things. Ah, oh, that's a character card. That one's cool. Mimic UV. Nice, into a Clefable. Well, the Clefable is going over here. 
And the Mimikyu is gonna go on display. It's a cool one. Yeah. But yeah, basically, I um, every time I see somebody uh, talk with passion about what they're doing or anything like that, I get really inspired by it and I want to make more things. That's why I've been recently been picking up um, videos again, like the Nuzlocke, etc., After a Slump, and a whole lot of personal things I'm not going to go in detail about. One, two, three, four. But hey, we're all here for fun, isn't it? Brawl's energy. That's Clang. Turku! Double turbo energy. That's actually, I still love this art. It's so cute. Sneasel. The Doof. The Doofy Wine. Electabuzz. Pameko. That's the Danny as the reverse into a Breloom. Don't mind me for a bit. I'm a bit nasally and I'm a bit. Um, not I don't, don't want to say sick, but I'm. Uh, I have the sniffles and my allergies are just being a bitch right now. Now, if you would uh, see my face, then you would not say that I'm the kind of guy who looks like I have allergies or anything like that. But I'll leave the face reveal for another time. Electric energy. Clang. Gabite. Torko! Parablast. The fairy. Cherubi. Sock. Torfish. That's the professor's research as a reverse. Always a good card to get. Into a Hunchcrow V. Nice. This one over here, and get ourselves a nice little sleeve. Let's put you over here. All right, up next. Well, let's go to this side from the box for once. There we go. And here we go. Go oh, card, please focus. Thank you. One, two, three, four. We've got another V-Star card, so there we are. And we've got Glancing Gloves, Lotzel, Sigilith, Gupchu, Chinx, Farfetched, Execute, The Fairy. As Farfetched as the reverse, that's cool uh, getting too Farfetched. I like this card. Into another Breloom. Hmm, we've seen that one before. Oh yeah, remember, we're going to probably see a lot of doubles, so at one point we're going to speed it all a bit up. But hey, we'll we'll see how and what's going to happen. Also, sorry for once again the background noise, I've got a doggy over here in a one-room apartment. I think um, I've said that most uh, of my videos, but hey, what if somebody new, is, uh, new ever watches the video and wonders what the background noise is? Still a one-man business. Whoa, what's... What's with this card? Is it a bit... Alright. Uh, electric energy. Choice belt. By Brava. It also could be that I've never noticed that about uh, the electric energies or any of the energies before. But hey. Those pass. Then eh, we've already got that one as reverse. But here's Rioli as reverse into Ice Q. And it looks like it's the broken form where it's actually been hit by a physical move. Alright. I mean, Ice Q is a very interesting Pokemon, but I do constantly forget about him, if I'm going to be very, very honest. Even though Ice Q is one of my favorite type Pokemon. And my favorite type is Ice type. With my favorite Pokemon uh, itself being Glacian. But I think you can get that out of my channel logo. Yeah, they, they also had those colors. Huh, never noticed. Fighting Energy. Gloria. Gravia. Barry. Duskull, Farfetch'd, Grimer, Execute, Baltoy, Execute. Oh, there's another uh, character art. This time it's from Artillery. That one's also cool. I, lo I love the colors on these. Into a Moltres. All right, that's a, a cool rare. The, uh, the real cool part is, of course, this character art. I've actually got a friend who... Um, we've once uh, done a friendly... Versus Nuzlocke, but that wasn't versus Nuzlocke with what? Five or six people at the same time racing to uh, beat the game. And he got swept at the first gym. It was black and white too. He had a Moltres and everything, but he got swept by a Octillery with Aurora Beam, Bubble Beam, that kind of stuff. So ever since then, we've been joking about it. And he absolutely hates Octillery. Here's the Coke Cut. 
I did not manage uh, to uh, win that Nuzlocke because one of our friends is a speedrunner and he got the speedrun Pokemon for that game, Excadrill. All right, Fighting Energy, Probopass, Team Yal's Cheer, Minchino, Minchino, Nosepass, Snorunt. Cool how we got the Minchino Evolutionary Line, Boltoy, the Dene, another Boltoy into a Pikachu Full Art. Ooh, that's very, very nice. I mean, Pikachu and Charizard are uh, two of the more popular Pokemon, so it's always good to see either one of them. I do actually like this one. This one's cute. Right then, put you over to the side and put you over here. I'm gonna rearrange. Uh, nah, we'll rearrange uh, after we get those pools. There we go. Then there is this. After this, we're gonna try something. But we'll see by then. First of all, the code card, one, two, three, four, to the front, and fire energy this time. Let's this pack be lit. There's Marnie's Pride, there's Groddle, Barry, Impidimp, Magmar, Riolu, Tayu, Ermi, as Killing Clang as the reverse into another Ice Cube. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab, what is it? Five packs? Yeah, let's pack for, let's get five. We're gonna go open all of them up. So, here's code card one. Now, one, two, three, four to the front. And the last two we're gonna put over here. Then, we're gonna do the same with the other packs. Because we're gonna see if we can get ourselves a hot streak. Code card. One, two, three, four. And the last two go over here. Put those over here. Do it again. This is gonna take a little bit, so please don't mind me. I do not like to have uh, cuts like that in a Pokemon card opening video like this because most people, or most, not most, are now generalizing things. Uh, a couple of people always are a bit iffy, like, Oh, he, he's going to the side, he, uh, he's cheating, he's only uh, showing it when you get good shit. I would rather show it even if I get some bad cards. I mean, that's part of the gig, you have to be honest about everything, aren't you, uh, don't you? Alright, that's four, and here is the last one. I'm also st uh, not showing the back of the uh, code cards, because... Um, you can actually, see, even though they changed it, you can still see if you actually get a hit in the pack or not. I want to prevent that. Right, do it over here. And let's start off with all the rest we got. Like V-Star, the Freshwater set. Tommy, Weevil, I do love that art. Weevil is a very cool Pokemon. I'll get my fat hands out of the way. Yeah, Shinx, another really cute art. Impidim, the more blocky one. Uh, go that was more of a render, I think. Nice cast form. Cool. Imcha. Fire. So we've gone to pack two. Bad tick. As Rosanna's backup with a whole lot of text of what it can do. Floatzel. Kirby. Sock. Corfish. Olet. Mecco. Deal. As Acerella's Premonition. Ooh, no, a bit harder time focusing. There's Morgrim, we've not seen that one. There's Friends of Galar, which actually does this exact same as Barry, but you uh, got all the main characters from the Gen 8 game in there, which is really cool. Like uh, also the Bell, the Pokeball, or the Doll, and uh, there's Marnie actually smiling for once. There is Stark, or how I like to call him Bert, from Bert and Ernie. Golet, let's see if we can get throw for uh, having Ernie in there. High kick. Dust Clubs, we've not seen that one yet. That's a very simplistic art, but I like it. Morgrim. That's one of the beautiful things about Pokemon art. They can have so many different things. I also remember some of the old arts. Oh, that's a cute cup too. Uh, I remember some of the old arts where you actually have the Pokemon like a, a small figurine and then a picture taken of it in some kind of place. There's Spirit Tomb and Axew. I thought we were through that, but... I actually had a couple of things left. Now, for what you guys have been waiting for, we're first gonna see a reverse. So that's how Lucha go into. Oh, <laughs> that starts off great. That's a 
Arceus Feastar. That's the second one we've pulled. Oh, immediately into a character card. And that's already a streak for pack one. Whew, where am I going to put everything? So, streak for pack one. And we immediately go to pack number two with this code card. With this code card. With this character art. It's actually the third time I'm uh, putting this character uh, card. It's still really cool. Alright. Put you over yonder way. Is it all still on screen? Yes. I'm gonna put this like this so we can get a, more, a little bit more room. And the next card is gonna be a Lucario. Let's uh, foil into Mach. Ah. Then, ooh, Marpico V. That's actually a cool, uh, cool one. Let's put you to the side for now for a reverse bird. For Magmatar. That's a bit bad. Oh well. That's reverse Lapras. And the last one of it is gonna be a Grimstar. Oh wait. So we have a 3 out of 5 packs worth something. Huh. I mean, it's good. We got the Arceus. We got the uh, Cynthia so far. We got, uh, now got ourselves a Morpico. Lots of Dark and Psychic type Pokemon in the set. Huh, interesting. But a hit is a hit. Well, technically, we also got the Lucario, so it's still a foil, so I'll call that a hit. Let's just get these right and next. I'm gonna go three packs and then we're gonna do the next gimmick. So, first, as code card for you all. Yes. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, not doing uh, the th same thing I just did. Water energy. Encino. Lancing Gloves, Disclops, Violu, Dali, Milsery, Milkery, Milsery, I don't know, Carblast, A Fairy, as Woman and as Reverse into a Elective Fire. Too bad, so sad, can do nothing about it. Right, that's a Charizard pack, so let's see if we can hit a Charizard. I would like to see if we can still hit something like a Alternate Art or anything like that. That would be crazy to hit one of those. One, two, three, four. Ooh, this back card is damaged. Do you guys see that? I hope it's not something uh, really valuable or cool or anything like that, because that's a shame. All right, let's just hope. Dark Energy, Luxio, Pot Helmet, Pidgeolith, Dali, Nilsery, Carablast, The Fairy, Kirby. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry about that, I'm still uh, taping with something I did not expect to uh, get so many messages in, so... Well, sweet, please do not be some good. Oh my god, it's damaged on the back! No. <laughs> Alright, it's, it's at least it's a good hit. But I'm so sad about the damage because, oh man... Gold Galarian Moltres V. This kind of damage. Oh, that's so... Uh, that's too bad. Well... Then we know where this one is going. This one is going into my binder with some sleeves around it. And nobody is ever going to see the backside of this card. Let's do it like that, why don't we? Alright, we're going to put you guys over yonder way. And put you over here. So, I think you can still see everything. Yeah. Oh man, that's so bad that the backside has uh, been... Scratch or uh, crap like that. That must be a factory error, am I right? Hmm. Well, I mostly just collect uh, the cards I find cool, and if uh, that's gonna be in the binder, I'll probably forget after a long while that it's gonna be damaged anyway. So, Cross Energy, Double Turbo Energy, Rover Pass, Rimplup, Magma, Spiritomb, Fermi, Impidimp, Taryu. As Luxray is the first. That's the first time we've actually hit a Luxray. For how cute things is and how uh, beautiful the Luxray art is. It's quite a change, but I like it. That was cool. Into a Grimstone. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. There are the guards. Alright. I said that we're now gonna do the gimmick. And I'm saying alright a lot right now. So please do not mind me. Code card. One, two, three, four. 
What we're going to do now is we're going to preemptively sleeve this one. Let's see if this luck will give us anything. There you go. So, Dark Energy. Ultra Ball, good card. Trophius. Ogrum. Spiritomb. Impadimp. Magma. Riolu. Burmy. As the reverse, all creamy. Somebody else I know really loves all creamy. That's pretty uh, good. And the preemptor sleeve card is gonna be. It's a leopard. Off you go, sleeve. <laughs> we tried, we tried. Next pack. We were well on our way through this whole box. Uh, you can't really see the hunch in the back anymore, but hey, hey, hey. it's all good. Code cards. I don't think I've shown the last code card very well. But hey, there, I know there are going to be some greedy people who just watch these videos to get code cards and everything. Fire. Water. Vigilif. Pride. Encino. Herblast. Weasel. We've not seen this one a whole lot yet. A Lucha. Bro, we finally got Ernie. Wow. Yes. Executor as the reverse into... A Heatron. We've not seen a Heatron a lot too, but it's just a normal uh, rare card. There we go, there we go. Boop. And next pack we go. I mean, so far the hits have been more than fine. We've got a full art, we've got... I always... I always um, forget what uh, rarities are called in Pokemon. Only a couple of rarities I can remember, like in Amazing Rare, for instance, the card that bleeds the art or the colors of the art bleeds over to the card itself, which would look really cool. All right, Psychic Energy, Hunting Gloves, Gibrava, the Fame Master, there's Bird, Earthfish, I still love this art though, Dolet, Chimcha, Kameko, and Stormy as the reverse into another Leopard. We're seeing a lot of cats lately. All right, next pack. We're gonna go through this a bit faster. So, code, there you go. Ooh. One, two, three, four. And steel, monkey, girl, fish, uh, egg, shroomish, sorry, rip up, third week. Oh, character card, Flurian. Oh, I love this one. It's too bad the Flareon is one of the worst Pokemon in the normal Pokemon games because I absolutely love the floof that is Flareon. I also use a Flareon V deck in the uh, card game, which is really fun to use. Into a Boss Order. Boss Order is actually a good card, but we've got to sleeve this little character art. Does me likey. Or definitely running out of room. But I think I'll still make this work and if it's not gonna work anymore if we pull more stuff then we're gonna have to change our layout for a bit all right packs you yeah. go away packs it's code cards then we've got one two three four to the front and grass energy Cladel, the cool looking Cladel, all clad in fire in the background. And there is the fresh water set, Tommy, Axu, Impidimp, Magma, Riolu, Burmy, there's Carblasters reverse into. Ooh, Foil Torterra. I do like Torterra. He's one of my favorite starters ever. Just looks really cool. I know he's shit, but I like him. I also used him in Legend Arceus. However, Legend Arceus has some uh, move problems. I'm not going to go much into. Which made Torterra a bit harder to use, to say in the least. Here's the code card. Come on, focus. There we go. One, two, three, four to the front. We're going to start off with Fighting Energy. There's Hitmontop. We've not seen him a lot. Magma Bazin. Uh, Magma Bazin? Something like that. We've not uh, seen that one a whole lot. Sorry, I was. Uh, if I'm uh, sound a bit more distant, I'm looking at my dog who's just uh, looking at me like that. Uh, Crawdon, still one of the happier Crawdon arts you don't expect from that Pokemon. Piplop, Turtwig, Easel, as Clink, Axew, as 
Acerola's premonition as the reverse into Ale Creamy. Oh well. On to the next one. Off you go. And hello, Code Guard. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four to the front. And there is the fire we've been waiting for. Ultra Ball, good card. Abrava, Trophius, Hiplop, Link, Measle, Tortwick, Spiritomb, Godor cast the reverse into a muck. Yeah, it will. Boop. That's just a whole pile of cards and a whole pile of um, packs assimilating over there. And I've been tossing the packs over the background for a bit, so I'll probably see what kind of travesty I've made after this video is over and probably have to uh, pick it all up. There's also a bit damage to the side over here. I don't know if you can see it. It's minimal. A psychic energy. There's Pachirisu. We've not seen him on this yet. Blunder policy. The card we've seen so much last uh, in the Elite Trader Box opening, but now, first time. As Luxio, the card I love. Gibble. Pepinch. Cast form. Ernie. Groomish. Magmota as the reverse with Electrify in the background. I still find it very cool. Only to go into a Clefable. Go. Oh. Okay. Next one. We've only got about five packs left. Huh. We're almost through with this episode. I, I still hope you've been enjoying it uh, up to this far because I'm going for the more chill uh, card openings. I also know that there's a lot of people who would actually really scream if uh, they get some really good stuff. But that's not really my style. I mean, all the more power to people who do it, but I don't want to fake my reactions. Uh, or I don't say they fake it. You know what? Let's go on to a different subject. Drop the rest of us into a Charizard V. Even though it's only a V, the Charizard is a very popular Pokemon, which costs a little bit more than the other V cards. And I just uh, put you in front of you, Marpico. Because you're a bigger hit than him, sadly. But it is what it is. There's the next pack. Oats. This one focuses very nicely. And water energy. After the fire, we had your last set. Two water cells after another. Cool. Sit life. Right. The fairy. Bidoof. Electabuzz. Orucha. Weasel, Electivire with the Magmatar in the background. I've uh, only noticed that just uh, when we did the Magmatar into a Empoleon. Oh, cool. Are we actually going to get the final starter of this line? Because we've got Torterra and Empoleon now, so all we need is an Infernape. Wait, we've got Infernape as a reverse. Can we get it as a foil? That's a good question. I really want to see that. All right. I also would like to see something big because we've hit a couple of good things the only thing we need to actually complete this whole uh, little thing once again a bit of damage over there this whole little thing is a alternate art if you get that then we've got um, every rarity in the set oh no wait there's still an amazing rare i forgot about that choice belt luxio grimer Bidorf. i like the Olucha. weasel as Manaphy as the reverse, which is still a really good card for bench protection. Into Ivergum. Go, go, go. I mean, I'm happy with uh, Manaphy for if I ever need bench protection in one of my decks. But we've hit the last three packs of this opening. After that, of course, we're going to have a recap on what we've pulled so far. Code card. One, two, three, four to the front. And there is Water Energy. Into the choice belt. Staravia, Floatzel, Starly, Milkery, Herblast, The Fairy, Kirby. As Execute as the reverse. I've not uh, pointed out this card yet, but it's funny how this one's the one broken and this one's sad. He's just very sad that his friend got absolutely screwed over. Into Milkery. Alright. Oh no, wait, there's more packs. Wow, I miscounted this. Absolutely horrible. That's still five packs. 
I mean, there's more of a pleasant surprise for me, actually. <laughs> more to open. Because I do love opening these packs. And I just love Pokemon as a uh, game and card game. I've only gotten recently in this, into this, but I am sad that I didn't do it sooner. Choice Belt, Brava, Gravia, Electabuzz, Olucha, Weasel, Gibble, Revenge, Fling into a Zerud V. Ah, finally, the dry spell is over. But yeah, I'm very sad that I didn't get into this game earlier because I um, have been playing a card game for many years called Yu-Gi-Oh! You've actually... Uh, I've opened one box before on this channel of Brothers of Legends. And if you did not watch that video, then please do. There's some really hype stuff in there. But you know what? I'm just going to put you here now. Uh, and I did not want to pick up a second card game due to financial things. But I'm an adult now. I can I can pay my own bills. I can say if I want to get cards, I can get cards. One, two, three, four. And I really enjoy it. It's a nice change of pace from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Who's very uh, long-term to something short-term and pretty... Card game is pretty easy, but it's fun. Implim, star you. You. That's the cleansing glass has reversed into a Kingler V Max. That's the second time we've seen that one. And I've only noticed now that we have yet to hit a V Max. So we're one step closer to actually having every rarity pulled in this set. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You know what? We're gonna change up. Oh no, the layout for a bit. Give me one a small second. Everything has been falling over like that, so do not mind me. Just getting some things rearranged. And hopefully you can all still see most of the pulls. Yes, you can all still see it. Cool, cool, cool. And only a couple left. As you can see over here, there's only to now there's only three left. Now we have really truly are hitting the end times. We've also not seen a character card for a while now. And the code card. I mean booster boxes are really fun for Pokemon. They are a whole lot more expensive than the Yu-Gi-Oh! one, but you get a whole lot more out of it. Electric, Attic, Rosan, Fossil, Farfetched. That's cool. We've not seen that one a whole lot. Grimer. Shinx. Ooh. Bidoof. As the sigil of Astro reverse into... Muck. Damn it. Muck. We've, we've seen a lot of mucks right now. Alright. Second uh, to last pack. Let's hope we get something. Because I always like to try and... End this video on something more hype than uh, just having a rare. Because it's a go always good to end the video on something cool. There is the fighting energy. So give us a fighting chance. Bertic. Rexha. We've yet to see Hexorus. Trophius. Duskull. Furloin. Sneasel. Fish, Magma. Kirby has to reverse into... A Dusk Noir. Ooh, that's still a very, very cool art with those shadow balls in his hands. Alright, don't complain. And now we've come to the end of this opening. Brother, the last pack. It's a Charizard pack to uh, finish it all off. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pre-sleeve it again. See if we can actually end this one in style. So, card... Code card. And then one, two, three, four to the front. There's a V Star card over here. And we're gonna put this one over down over here and preemptively leave it. So Alright, we're gonna just gonna put it over here. And we're gonna see what else we've got. And we've got the V Star card, of course. That's Juncino. Dancing gloves. Dusclops, Baltoy, Nosepass, Milsery, 
Up to you. Then a test of Relu Master Reverse. And the card we're going to end it on today is going to be. Oh, not again. <laughs> no, it's a worm and again. Oh, man. Ever since I said that I did not like this card, uh, he has been taunting me. So, onto the pile over there. Well, we did not end it with something cool, but hey, look at the pulls we've all got, and uh, it's it's cool anyway. So let's just go over what we've gotten. We've got a Moltres, Boss Order, Gotera, still one of my favorite boys. As the Dusk Noir, I still really like this art over here. There's Lucario with the Aura Sphere. There's Empoleon. Never really knew what to think of Empoleon. Oh well, it's got a good ability though. So we're gonna go to into the standard V cards. Uh, please. There is the more Pico V. There is the Hunchcrow V. I do like him. There's Charizard, the most hyped up Pokemon ever. And Zarud from the Sandstorm, of course. And then afterwards we gotten ourselves. Let's just start off with the character cards. I think. I like this one a whole lot more than I thought, especially because of the colors. But yeah, here's the Octillery. And there is the Dedene. And here's the Flareon, the one I really, really love. Memory capsules. We've actually not seen a lot of memory capsules yet, have we? Oh, huh. interesting. But yeah, let's just put you onto the pile over here. No? Then, of course, we got ourselves the Kingler V Max. Same one we pulled last time. Then there is, of course, the Pikachu full art. I still really do like uh, what this looks like. It can actually dish out some decent damage. And there uh, we've got the Mimikyu V character card. Come on, focus, thank you. Oh, that's actually pretty cool what it does. And we've got our Golden card. I really don't remember what we call this, right? The Gilday Remolter V is also a very cool one. It's too bad about this over here. But as I said before, we're just going to put this into the sleeve in my uh, collection binder and just forget all about the damage. Because, wait. Is it? Come on, focus for a bit. I think it's also damaged up there. I wonder what happened to it. It's specifically Death Corner. Hmm. Oh well. And we got the Arceus V Star, which is a really good card. I've yet to pull the actual Arceus, but after this, I don't think I'm gonna do a whole lot more brilliant stars after this. But we'll see. Maybe if something comes up or anything like that. And last, we've got the Cynthia's Ambition Full Art, which we actually did pull first. And I know there's a lot of uh, people gonna be thirsty about that. But that is basically our Brilliant Stars opening. I hope you have really all enjoyed the, this uh, card opening. And I'm curious what's going to be next on the list, right? I'm just going to stay looking around for something new or something I find very interesting to open. Because I want to have this experience uh, with you all on what's going to be in here. And see what's going to happen. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.